Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our backyard party. All right, cool. Uh, can uh, we still play the music? So we telling y'all, skies is the limit. We playing our Biggie. This is tribute to Biggie, telling you, the sky is the limit. It ain't even a limit. You can just keep pushing on for whatever your dreams is, right, y'all? That's right. That's right. right. So welcome. I am Sonika, Sonika Arrington, the Positivity Queen, Queen of Africa, the Jew Hunter, you know. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And thank you for tuning in. I'm here tonight. I am just honored to have some great sisters and a true brother hanging out tonight with us. We had our little get together. And uh, please introduce yourselves to the yes, audience. Yes, <laughs> I am Matanya, the Queen of Positivity and Light and uh, um, just um prosperity so i'm here hanging out with sanika and my sister and bomani we having a great time <laughs> all right tell me your name sir greetings family bomani tamba um this is live on revolutionary camp uh, africa tourism investment africa for the africans uh is our uh, brand as far as connecting us for a straight nation building on the Afri african continent and uh we're just here enjoying a nice social night my three sisters. All right, and your name? My name is Akila Smith, and I am here chilling with Matanya Smith and Bomani Tayambani <laughs> and Miss Sanika, and we are chilling here, enjoying um, our evening, and just relaxing and bringing peace. That's all. Giving out love and just having a good time. So we wanted to share with you our thoughts on, we want to talk about what, coronavirus, going back to Africa, how this so-called pandemic, how, how it has affected you in either a negative way or a positive way. Maybe we can speak about the rioting, how you feel about that, and with all of this that ha has been going on, what do you see, or what do what do you feel you've got uh, gotten out of this, or what you have gained? Wow, you see how the light just oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yes. yeah. And the ancestors is here <laughs> taking time to give thanks to my ancestors because yes. that was just like charged. Okay, mm -hmm. take a moment. Yeah, let me pour this out. This one is for the ancestors for Absolutely. those that didn't make it. Absolutely. Ashe. 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 All right. So, um, as for me, I'll, I'll begin. I want to just say in the beginning when this whole coronavirus uh, came about I felt a little fear um, what I did gain out of it I uh, started taking self-defense class and I think that everyone should get their gun license I I found out that I'm in love with shooting guns at first I was afraid feeling feminine and <laughs> thinking like I don't need a gun you know but because I am a, a homeowner and a business owner you know I just think you should be self you should self you should have some type of self-defense and be able to protect yourself in case of anything should happen. Um, I'm looking forward to going back to Africa. I think being home has been, it's been awesome because I do love my house. I got time to just relax, continue working on my next book. And, um, but I'm really excited for them to open up the borders because I want to go to Jamaica and I want to get back in the sky, get back to Africa. What about you, Montana? Definitely. I definitely got to get back to the continent. I need to get back to the sun. Um, I, I, I got to get back to Caribbeans, uh, Africa, Israel, wherever. We Israel. Tell them home. about Israel. Oh, Israel. Be it's beautiful. Israel is such a spiritual place. When you go to Israel, you're going to feel it. It's Israel, the, the whole uh, country of Israel, has. you're going to feel something when you get there because you know that our ancestors were there as well. Um, going to the live sea, going to like the Sea of Galilee, the Red Sea, and just different places in Israel. It's like it's, you're going to have a, 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 a connection with it no matter where you go to in Israel. It's a, such a beautiful place, beautiful mm -hmm. people. Um, I love to go to the Holy Land in Demona. Shout out to Demona and my family Demona. and friends in Demona. Shalom. Yes, yeah, Shalom. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful place. It's, I, I love to connect with the brothers and sisters there such a beautiful um the environment just everything there it's just you know when you get to africa and you connect with the pe not only the people it's the food that you eat you connect with the it's the soil in africa as well and when you eat eating from the food in africa no matter where you are um that you have you have a strong connection with the soil and just the land and the culture and everything so um, I, I miss it and i'm ready to go back 
Yes. Bomani, if you want to share with the audience. Uh, yes, uh, only thing I can really share is uh, everything is a sign of the times. Uh, we as a people been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. And, um, you know, we still own little to not much, but uh, some of us have big salaries and other resources. And for me, it's all about black people putting their resources together to make Africa the continent, uh, you know, the, 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 the world's greatest continent and just the place for black people. But uh, until we you know, do those things, um, it's gonna, you know, the situation is going to be what it is where, uh, where you know, we're waiting for someone else to do it. So everything that we do is putting our money together and building different energy Absolutely. in different parts of Africa. So Ghana is one, uh, one country, one of many countries um, and you know, other countries people are in. But it's just that time right now. Um, and, you know, some of our best people on the African continent are here working in, in hospitals, making big salaries, engineers, this and that. Uh, you know, so it's a, it's a time for a change of consciousness, um, mm -hmm. so we can, you know, our children can grow up to where you know we actually have some level of ownership and some level of real black economic power, uh, mm -hmm. and and the, the black folks that's gonna stay in America, you know, it's time for us to just take it to a different level also. That's so right. everything's about this, um, that transformation. So Absolutely. if you're on shutdown for two weeks or um, or ten weeks or so. Uh, the best thing to do is just to kind of like organize with the rest of your folks and say, hey, what are we going to do to build a strong future? Mm -hmm. So that's what we've been doing. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes. I don't have much to say, but <laughs> that um, we are in a real pandemic right now where everybody needs to realize and stop following each other and being their own leaders mm -hmm. and taking charge of their own family and coming together and figuring out you know what's the best thing to do for yourself in your Absolutely. life and the people who you love around you because if you're follow, listening to all the social media and following everybody you're going to fall in the trap that they want you to fall in mm -hmm. so just basically just keep y'all you know stay focused and you know follow still follow your dreams because it's, it's not the end of the world you know we're all going to get through, through this and just basically just keep hope alive and you know let's just stick together yes you know Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Yes. Yes, yes, keep me strong. Right? <laughs> Everybody yeah. just stay strong and just <laughs> absolutely be your own person and you know. Right. Don't believe at, everything you've seen on TV. That's, that's thing, number honestly. one. I think it's going to be Look at the big picture. Look at the big picture. What's the big picture? The big picture is it's something it's that's world. bigger than us. Yeah. You see all this uh, chaos and everybody's talking about every different little things on mm -hmm. or and different things on social media. You see a lot of things. But who's orchestrating everything and the chaos and all of this stuff that's going on in the environment? And um, and, and look at just you have to look at the big picture as far as like what what um, who's orchestrating all this stuff? You got to ask yourself yeah. who's causing me to have these emotions to go out there and to do different things that you've never done before. that you've never never done before. Mm -hmm. Who are you listening to? What 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 are the who who, who, who are, are your influences in yeah. life? Who's causing you to do certain things? You have to stop and ask yourself because you don't want to, like Akilah said, you don't want to fall in the trap of somebody else's thought pattern. If it's pattern. bad music coming to you, if it's a relative that's telling you to do this, you got to stop and listen like, hey, this is what I, this is me. Is this how I want my future to be? You know, you I'm know, really, we, we are in the end game. If you have never went out and, and watched that documentary called The End Game, everybody needs to watch The End Game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Powerful, powerful messages talk to you. It, it, I mean, it breaks down everything that's going on in this in this world and what's going on in life. The yeah. End Game. The End Game. Check that out, guys and ladies. Uh, anything else, Bumani, mm -hmm. you want to share before we end this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell them about the land and uh, that they can invest in, in in Ghana that you have set up. Uh, yes, uh, the land situation uh, is, uh, you know, the folks have to be open to processing a lot of information. But the website is Africa for the Africans dot org, and the land is called Black Star Repatriation and Pan African Community. Uh, it's a uh, 15 acres foundation, and then we add another 50 acres to make it 65, and it's just um, a private organized society of black folks that are about black nation building and um, black economic power and uh, you know it's just us putting our resources together so we can uh, own our future and control our destiny so we have our own education system uh, we have our own investments uh, we're two miles away from the beach uh, we literally creating a, you know, creating a, a system to where we can just be as one as a people and really just 
you know, be more focused. You don't have to fear so for your all, lives, mm -hmm. looking over for the cops. Yeah, so it's, all, that. You know, it's, it's all in working and plans and everything. And <laughs> using it as a way to recommend other people, put yeah. their resources together. So whether it's, it, right. it's mm -hmm. 10 of us say, hey, we're going to go do something in Tanzania, or you know, 20 of us say we're going to do something in Senegal and Gambia. It's just all about, you know, like I talked about earlier, it's about us you know, reconnecting to the African continent. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and detaching ourselves from our masters. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I agree. Detaching ourselves from our masters. We have to be our self. own masters. Yes. Yes. We are our own leader. We are our own, ma own yeah. masters. About that time. We have to seek within ourselves. So we have to start meditating, meditating, praying. Seek within yourself to find your answers because it's there. It's within you. Yeah. Yes. Be your Once own you leader, master your own yourself, master. start connecting with your ancestors, your higher self. Be still. Take this moment to be still. You know, they tell you don't come outside, but I'm telling you, get outside and get some sun. <laughs> Take yeah, them damn masks off and breathe. <laughs> right. Drink plenty of water. Yes, absolutely. Surround yourself with life. Get That's you a lot of plants. Bring, drink a lot of water. Absolutely. absolutely. Bring plants into your home. Yes. Breathe in that natural oxygen. Yes. Get you some <laughs> Shanghai. Purify your water and your yes. surroundings. Absolutely. No. I got the Shanghai if you need it. <laughs> or they can yeah. drink some herbal tea, right? Yeah, drink yeah. some herbal tea. <laughs> yeah. Yes, get your herbs out. Definitely get into your herbs. Build you a little garden in your house. Even if you don't have a backyard, you know, you can get you your big pots and get right. you some um, thyme, some mint, yes. you know, basil, mm -hmm. some parsley. Like, just start learning to become one with your true self Absolutely. and nature. Now, that's essential. Yep. Absolutely. And start reading. Turn off the television. Yes. Read. Read yes. a book. Turn because we so yes. used to having Alexa and everybody else tell us what to do. <laughs> we can't even think for ourselves. Right. Absolutely. Folks are like programming you 24-7. Yes. <laughs> you got the Alexa. Straight no critical thinking. It's like, Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, well, right. let's see what, what the Google say. No, pick right. up a dictionary. <laughs> pick up a book. Read Absolutely. for self. You exactly. know? Like, yes. go back to the natural ways. I think... I find it incredible, like, we're becoming the parents. I remember when my mother and my grandmother, and, like, now we're actually turning into the mother and the grandmother. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good, and right. I think <laughs> what, what, like, how this whole stay home and it's making us docile, it was, like, back in the days when we was growing up, and my mom used to be on welfare, and she uh -huh. tried to get a job, and my father would work, but we have food stamps, and, like, now everybody's like, okay, right. we can give, they're giving us food stamps, they're making us stay home and not want to work. I mean, I'm not saying... Trust me, I'm the one. I do not want to work. I plan on living on the beach and mm. and collecting my money mm -hmm. from a, the computer. Okay, I'm and all about. Hang out with us. Come hang out with us yes. in the community. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I think like time has changed where you know they don't want you to think. And I'm I'm not even right. saying they. We just have to take responsibility and say you must start thinking for yourself. Absolutely. Become a thinker. You know, make time to don't just run with the crowd like you said. Sit back analyze feel if it feels right for you sometimes just use common sense we're losing mm -hmm. sight of common sense That's like right. yeah. just really hold common sense yes. yeah hold on to it get in the sun why would they we're sun people that's like by right. nature we're supposed to be in the sun that's what activates your soul Absolutely. that's what brings out the femininity in you ladies that's what brings out the masculinity in our brothers like it charges your whole dna exactly. you know connect with the earth take your shoes off get your feet in the grass in the ground yeah reconnect to nature right yes <laughs> you have to you know take a bath some of you don't even <laughs> take baths like when was the last time you had a bath Everybody's taking showers. Get your behind in the tub and soak. Become one with the water. Become one with the fire, the elements of earth. Like you need, we just really need to wake up. Yeah, just we'll go wake to the up. ocean and let's go take a yes. salt water swim. You know, do some purification. Yeah. Fast, fast for a day. Don't eat no food. Just drink waters and teas. You know, Telling and you. just start being still, and you'll hear. You'll start listening. They're gonna be thinking you're crazy, but it's okay. The crazy ones make all the money. Start off, you start <laughs> off feeling like you're crazy, but then you're gonna end up being superior. Absolutely. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. You're gonna end up being superior, so don't ever think nothing. Like, like you can, that. you know, be godly within, you know, connect with God, connect with the, 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 the highest. Absolutely. You need guidance.
amazing, yo. You got to be amazing. Don't settle for the worst. Settle for nothing but the best. Right. Absolutely, and you was wondering what we were doing. We were having a so nice cookout. Yes. Um, I don't have no copyrights to this song, but we're going to end it with Biggie, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and this song is good. No, that's what he said. It's a struggle, but yo, you got to keep pushing. Yeah. Ghana, here we come. <laughs> as soon as they open up the border. That's right. Don't get you your gun license. If you don't have a permit, you screw. I mean, if you don't have a passport, you screw. You need to go get your passport, like, ASAP. Right. Go get your passport. Go get your gun permit. I gotta get mine, so I'm gonna cook that. Thanks for tuning in. And I love you.